Today, to welcome to another installment of Poznanski's Beer Reviews. Today's beer is Shock Top Lemon Shandy. This is a Belgian style wheat ale beer brewed with spices and with natural lemonade flavor added. It is 4.2% alcohol and it is by Anheuser Busch Brewery or as they call it, Shock Top Brewing Company out of St. Louis, Missouri, which is Anheuser-Busch. This is the one pint can, and Beer Advocate, it gets a 67, which is poor. It's classified as a fruit and vegetable beer. As I said, I don't care too much for those. Hmm. Okay, so on Rape Beer, it gets a 9 overall and an 89 in style. So I'm guessing they're saying, for what it is, it's a good beer, but just, I don't like this kind of beer. I guess that's what they're saying. The commercial description on this, oh no, it's the same thing as the one over here. Um, not much else to talk about. Uh, it says, uh, Shock Top Lemon Shandy is brewed with orange peel, coriander, and natural lemonade flavor, as well as a blend of domestic and imported hops. And it is 4.2% alcohol by volume. I am trying to find ingredients for this. I can't. I haven't. I can't see it on their website. They don't show. Um. Oh wait. Our lemonade shandy. Our lemon shandy is made with real California lemon peels to deliver a bright and unmistakable shock top taste. Brewed with oh, two row and six row malted barley and five different types of hops. This this Belgian style wheat ale is then combined with real citrus peels, coriander, natural lemonade flavor, and a hint of sugar for a subtle sweetness. The end result of our lemon shandy is incredible, refreshing, crisp, and smooth beer. All right, let's give it a shot. I hate how you pour it down the fucking these cans when you pour it. Just... Doesn't fit. Uh, this is one. Pint. I guess my pint glass isn't one pint. <laughs> All right, that pours a. That pours a uh, wheat beer color. It looks like their Belgian white. Looks like the Bel Blue Moon Belgian white color. It looks like the Shock Top Belgian white color. You know, you know that tangerine like hazy appearance with very unfilteredness in it. Not much head anymore. You get a nose. really picking up anything. This beer doesn't have much nose to it. I can't really... Maybe a little bit of lemon and that's about it. Would also help if my mom didn't stink up the house with her cooking. A little bit of lemon some coriander and that's about it no more bubbles left let's get a taste hmm interesting You get lemonade flavor on the front. It's not real lemon. Goes into maybe like a nice citrusy, real citrus kind of middle tone. And you end with sugar. And you end with like this sugary sweetness.
Um, the, this beer is, I would say, not that good. For me, at least, it's, it's kind of blah. You get a fake lemony sweetness on the frog. And it ends with like a sugary. It, no, it ends with a sugary, uh, a sugary sweetness, and then the aftertaste is um, a traditional wheat, the not uh, the, the the Belgian wheat, like grain taste. I have not had this beer before. Um, I prefer shock tops in the cans, just because I think it looks cooler in the can than it does in the bottle. Um, it's a sweet beer, but I don't know why I would want to drink something like this. It's too sugary. Like, literally so sugary that it's going to give you an upset stomach. And it's such low alcohol. It's light beer, basically. It's 4.2. And it's not the greatest lemony beer I've ever had. There are other wheat ales that are better than this. The Shock Top Belgian White is better than this. Their Pumpkin Wheat is pretty good, not that bad. Blue Moon's uh, Belgian White is pretty good. The Allagash's, um, some other Hefeweizen's are pretty good. Um, this is, it's a blah beer. There's nothing really much to it except for, I mean, not, it's, it's cloudy. It's unfiltered. There's no head. Barely any head. It's tastes like lemonade with a little alcohol. Mm. You know what it tastes like? It almost tastes like Mike's Hard Lemonade. With a little bit of uh, adjunct-y finish. But I'll tell you what I will do. Got to keep that colored. If you get a thousand of these and you bring it, I, I think, to Wall Bombs, you get a prize or something. At least that's what I read in the paper once. Because they melt them down and there's some kind of some kind of uh, chemical in here that can cure, like, cancer or something. I don't know. I read that in the paper once. That, uh, this beer review certainly isn't as good as yesterday's, last night's beer. Or this morning's beer, if you count, 2.30 in the morning. This morning. I still can't get over how delicious that beer was. Beautiful. I'm gonna see if I could do another beer of uh, beer review tonight. I got a special one in the fridge right now. A lot better than this. Anyway, that's it for this review, guys. It, there wasn't much to this beer. Um, I actually thought it was my mom's cooking that I couldn't smell, but no, there really isn't much flavor and just a little bit of lemon, a tad bit of lemon. It's mainly watery and watery and sugary with a little bit of lemon, a little bit a little bit of coriander, not a lot. Um, some sugar as they said and a grain finish. A grain finish. So anyway, that's it for this review guys. As always, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, request, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Take care. Bye.